Hey there, if you're curious how the matrix fills with LiveGood, I'm gonna give you a couple different scenarios here. I made a better video uh, from the one I had before, so you may have seen it already. This one goes and kind of breaks it down as far as uh, a little bit order, especially if you have different people sponsoring. And so, for example, some people go on the uh, concept of obviously, you know, you bring in two, who bring in two, bring in two. Maybe you bring in six, who bring in six. You bring in three, you bring in three, so on and so forth. So there's lots of different ways uh, we're gonna go about this. I made this, for example, with six people. So here we are, for example, at the very, very top, and we've placed our first person. And so the first person, there's an alternation between left and right with the matrix and how it fills, and it also depends on the power line. The way that the power line works is when the Thursday cutoff happens, the next person in the power line goes to the highest position that's available in that person's sponsor's matrix. Okay, they're not gonna go to the highest position overall in the matrix, they're gonna go to the highest position in the sponsor of that person. So I had these five people here, obviously the sixth one has been placed, or the first one has been placed. And so the only other place to go next is over here to the next side. And so we're gonna click on that and basically we're gonna fill. So I'm just gonna be pulling. Then it's gonna alternate left and right between that person. So we have the next person going down here and then the following person are gonna jump back over to the right side. Then we're gonna go back over to the left and then finally gonna come back to the right. Now, what I've done is take an example and broken down. And what we're gonna focus on right now is just the right side of the matrix. And we'll come back to the left and I'll run through that scenario again. And so I have all these people Let's say the first person had an idea. They had six, you know, there's six top business builders and they're starting to work with. And each of those six people also had an idea of six people. So notice here I have one, two, three, four, five, six blacks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six yellow or orange, whatever you want to call it. And then with the peach, peaches reddish color, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've given them each six. Now, according to the power line, okay, I'm filling from left to right according to the power line. So this is the first person who joined, second person who joined, third, fourth, fifth, in order throughout that week, and then actually upgraded at some point. Now, it doesn't matter what point in the week you upgrade, as long as you were in the power line first, you get placed in a higher position. So it's your benefit to be pre-enrolled as soon as possible, and then you have the whole week almost, depending on when you pre-enrolled. If you pre-enrolled on Friday, you have until the following Thursday to actually upgrade. Obviously, if you pre-enroll on a Thursday, you wanna upgrade on that Thursday, you may be anywhere in here, okay? So someone that actually pre-enrolls on a Friday but doesn't upgrade to a Thursday can actually be bumped higher because they actually got that power line position. So if you notice, for the first one, it is a black. So we're gonna look at the black position and there are four open positions in their matrix. And like I said, and like we showed before, it goes left and then right and then left and then right and it keep balances back and forth until that level is full. So the first position available is right here. So that first person is gonna come down and slide into here where the second person is then gonna go over to the right side. So there's an equal sharing in spill over here. Now where it starts to get tricky is if other people are also promoting at the same time, they can actually stay ahead of their sponsors and start to skip levels where it might be a little bit more difficult to see some spillover. And we're gonna go more in depth of that later on. So the next person is yellow, so therefore they're gonna go into the highest open position that's available in the yellow, which is this one over here on the right. So that person there is gonna click down in here. The next person, now they filled up their first level, okay, the, the yellow's first level is full, so now they have to go left and right back and forth. So the next possible option is to come down here into number four. Now we have another black. And if you look, black's highest position available it is not gonna rotate down in the his third level or my fourth level, but actually his second level. There's an opening over here. So in some cases, some people might get more spillover than others depending on the order in which those pre-enrollees came in, depending on the rate at which people are sponsoring, and many other factors. So just be careful and just pay attention to what's going on. Obviously, it's to your benefit to get in, pre-enroll, and upgrade right away to, to secure yourself the highest possible, uh, possible position. So now we're back to yellow. Again, we're gonna go left and right. We have to consider now this is based on this matrix here. So the next available position, left and then right, is this one right here. 
Now we go to a couple peach. So let's say peach started or whatever color I said this was, peach started to promote. Now peach has their open layer again, left and right. So one's gonna come over here to the left, one's gonna come over here to the right. And now we're back to yellow. Yellow has now these two positions open in their next level. We're gonna fill to the left first. And then Peach is gonna come in. They were in the power line next. So now again, left, right. Their next available position is right here. Okay, now where the black comes in, we now, we now notice yellow has three and Peach has three. But you have to remember, it's a typically it flows left to right. Okay, so they match the left side, then they come and match the right side. So that means the next possible position right here, black comes down here, and then we have two more yellow. So they, again, they were in the power line first. Their next two positions are gonna split it evenly. We're gonna have one down here, the farthest to the left, and then it takes a look at the next section and puts one on their left side, okay? So it continues to spread left and right as far as possible it, that, that it can happen, okay? The next one is black. So when we look at this, Black already has two on their left, okay? So if we take a look and go up, really in this level here, this person has one in their left, this person has one in their left, but if we go to these two black positions, they don't have any one in their left, so this is gonna be the next one that fills. So that black, oh wait, sorry, I totally missed. That's one of the things you have to pay attention to, okay? Notice there was an opening, okay? Before we can fill down here, we actually have to fill over to the far right side. And so that position actually filled over there first, okay? So again, pay attention uh, to where your openings are and you might be able to grasp. Now, if you've sponsored or your team has sponsored a lot of people all at once, it might happen so fast, you're not really sure where they go. But I'm again, I'm just giving you a run through of how the matrix is supposed to fill. Now we have peaches and blacks left over. The peach uh, level is fill, okay? So if we go back to peach, their first level's full, their second level's full. Now they're in their third level. Again, the only place position is outside to their left. And then this person has one on the left. This person now needs one on the left. That's where the next black is gonna go. Now we're gonna come back, okay, to the, this person's right side and then over, and then their right side and over. Okay, so it always goes left, right, left, right. So the next person, uh, excuse me, person is gonna come down. Notice they're gonna be kind of staggered every other uh, position when we're looking at that level or that row. And then finally, this one's gonna come down here. Now, when we take a look at total numbers, notice this person over here ended up getting a little more than this person over here. Okay, they both have their first rows full, they both have their second rows full, but this person only has two in their third level, this person has four in their fourth level. So it depends again on how maybe how fast you're promoting and, and how the other people above you are promoting. Okay, you never really know when spillover is gonna come. Consider spillover a great benefit and a great bonus, but do not expect spillover to come, especially if people are above you not really taking action. If people just come in thinking they can show up and not do the work, then you're not gonna see much team growth. But if you're all taking action and you're all starting to share the program and the benefit and the amazing products that the company has, then you're gonna start to see continuous growth. So let's go to the left side. And again, we're gonna kind of follow that same trend, go in order. And so we've placed those other two people here. And again, the, the way that they're sponsoring, these color patterns could be in any order. So let's say, you know, the pink person did a couple, and then the green did a bunch all at once, and then pink got in there green. Well, gray wasn't doing anything for the first half of the week. And then at the end of the week, gray comes in and says, okay, I'm doing a bunch. And then pink gets two more to join. Okay, so again, we're gonna walk through this. I'll try to go a little faster, and hopefully it starts to make sense. Because again, it's just a repetitive left-right pattern filling the positions closest to the top of the sponsor that, that or the person that sponsored them based on their position in the power line. So over here, again, we have the pink, the green, and this, this blue-grayish color. The first one is pink. So obviously, if we look at the first three are pink, they're all going to go. There's three available positions. We're going to go left and right. So we're going to go over here to the left first. Then we're going to come over here to the right then we're gonna come back to the left and fill over here. And now we would go over to the right if there was another pink or if it was a gray, but notice we have a bunch of greens. So now the green, the only place for the green to go are under green. 
So again, we have one, two, three, four, five positions here. All four of these are gonna fill, and then they're gonna go down to the next level. So obviously we're gonna to come to the left first, then we're gonna to come to the right, then we're gonna come over here to the left, then we're gonna come back to the right. And then we still have another one, so now we're gonna go out to the outer left. Finally, we get another pink. The next available position for pink is actually here in this row, so that's gonna fill up. So it actually worked out that both people got two pinks because it was equal, equal sharing. You never know if there's going to be an equal sharing. You are more likely, again, to get spillover the sooner you join someone as you know part of their team and part of their matrix. If you're waiting a longer time, you might be down many, many levels. That's, that's what happened in my scenario. And I've actually stayed in front of my sponsor. And I'm gonna to get to that, showing you that example in a few minutes. So our next example here is green. And so green's already put, you know, one, two, three, four, five. They've gone left. Now they're gonna come back right again. Green is now done, okay? So there's no more green to play around with. The question is, will any pink get back to green? And so we have all of these gray. So gray finally took action. You know, they got six in a row. So again, they have their first four. So we're going to go left. Then we're going to come over here to the right. There's the second one back to the left. And then finally back to the right. And then finally, we have two more pink, or two, sorry, two more grays. They're going to come to the left. And then they're going to come to the right. Because that's based off of their gray matrix. Now we have to look at the bigger matrix. Now we have two pinks left. So now we're expanding to both left and right side. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at this. This pattern here is consistent. We have a green and then three blank. We have a green and then three blank. We have a gray and three blanks and then a gray and three blanks. It's gonna now recognize that that pattern is the same on both sides. So it's equal, it's now gonna go left and then it's gonna go right again. So the next available position is this kind of middle one. So in between these three, Okay, so basically the left person has one, but their right person doesn't. Okay, the left person has one, but the right person here doesn't. Left has one, right person doesn't. Left has one, right person doesn't. So it's just gonna alternate. So our next available, available position, they should each get one. And so our next one's gonna come down here to the left, and then the next one over here is gonna come down to the right. And then if we had two more, one would come over and fill this position here, and then one would fill this position here. So when we take a look at it, each one on this side got three. So it's a gray, a pink, and a, gr a gray, and then a green, a pink, and a green. Where on the other end, it was an unequal sharing. So we never really know exactly how it's going to be. The key thing is hopefully that you understand a little bit more about how the matrix alternates and fills, especially if you and your team are both building at the same time, you could end up getting your people placed higher and you could get spillover below you if your people are pre-enrolled first. If you are not having them pre-enroll, maybe you get some spillover and maybe your people end up uh, lower down below you. So again, it's to the advantage of you and your people to pre-enroll and upgrade as soon as possible. And so I wanna expand on this a little bit and I'm gonna to totally change the screen here. And I'm gonna pretend that you are the one taking action. Okay, so let's say you are really taking action, you have a massive list, maybe you're an influencer, and you have a lot of people that have filled really, really quick, and you're continuing to build traffic or you know, build a team through traffic and other methods, and your team is just exploding. So you filled your first row with blue, you filled your second row, your third row, your fourth row is filled, okay? And I'm only gonna focus on one person, because this is the example that I mentioned a few minutes ago in a scenario that happened with me. And so I joined number two leader of all time. He's one of our uh, one of our first diamonds and he's the number two spot all time. And so I'm many levels down. I'm actually lower than this level, but for the case of what's uh, happening here, I wanna show you this. So let's say that person, or let's say you are continuing to promote and then you get someone who, who also starts to promote. Okay, and they're like, oh, I, I totally see the vision. I can't believe, you know, the low price point of entry, the amazing prices of the products, the high quality of the products. I am in. I see the vision with this. I understand, you know, the compensation plan, how the generational matching is going to be enormous. Okay, that's one of the cool things. So make sure you check out the other videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like the video and check out all the other videos that I have so you can learn the ins and outs of how this program actually works. And so if we fill this and go back to the same concept of what we did before, it's still going to be a left right following. So we have this fourth row completely filled. We're gonna go to the farthest to the left and then back to the right, left, right, left, right, all the way through. So notice blue has one, two, three, four, five, six people here. If 
I counted correctly. So we're going to start here over to the left, and then we're going to come over here to the right, and it's going to balance out. Okay, so, so now the closest this person up here has one all the way to the left, this person now needs one all the way to the left. This one already has one to the left, and then this person would need all the way one to the left. So it really kind of goes higher up to figure out that balance down. And so now we're gonna come over here for the next person, and we're gonna follow this person all the way down, and it spaces it out evenly, left, right, left, right. And if we kind of break this up in half, okay, now, the left person has one, but the right, now we're in the next level. The right person doesn't have one. The left person has one. The right person doesn't have one. And so now this first one is going to come here or the next one. But now we got to come over to the other side because, again, it's always a left and right. So now we're going to come down here to the right side. And now this is where it really gets tricky. If blue had another one in this position, notice the left has one. The right has one coming here. The left has one. The right does not. This one, the left has one, and the right side has one. The left has one, and the right side, again, does not. So these right side positions are the next. But if the yellow is going to come down, we now have to think about blue could have filled this position, but instead the yellow person is the next one in line, so they are going to go to the closest position in the veil, uh, that's available in their sponsor's matrix, which is going to be right here. So that blocks the spot for blue. So that next blue person now jumps over to the right side instead and fills up the other side. So you've actually been skipped because you were actually taking action. Okay, that sometimes happens. They recommend, obviously, that you be a spillover creator instead of a spillover waiter. Because the more times you sponsor people, the more matches and the more potential for generational matches you are going to get. If you wait for spillover, you're only going to earn 25 cents a month on those people, which might end up being a large amount. Let's say someone else below you starts to grow a massive team and you earn, you know, 20, 30, 50 bucks a month, maybe 100. You could earn up to thousands of dollars a month without even sponsoring anybody. But the goal, obviously, is to make even more by sponsoring your own and multiplying those commissions with matching checks. So now we're back, the next few are blue. But if we notice the pattern, we have one and then three empty, one, three empty, one and then three empty, one and three empty, one. And, it's all the way across. So now we're going, if we look at this level all the way down, the left one has one, the right one doesn't. Left has one, right doesn't. Left has one, right doesn't. So now we're gonna start to fill those back and forth. So we're gonna come over here first and fill this one. Now we have to come over to this one, to the right side and fill one. But then we got to jump left side of this part, but then there's also a right side of this part. Next one's going to come over here, and then over here we're going to finally have one as well come in. Now we're back to yellow. Notice blue still has not filled that level up yet. So the next three uh, yellows, obviously one's going to go there. Then we have room here. The next two are going to go to the left and then to the right. So now... The yellow person is building levels lower than where the blue person currently exists. They're actually staying ahead of their sponsor. Okay, They filled up those positions and they're working faster and filling up below. So it's going to take a lot longer for that sponsor to create extra uh, team growth to fill in those positions. Okay, so the next two, notice we still have some gaps here. We're like one and then nothing, one, nothing, one, and then we have few. So there's a gap here, there's a gap over here to the right, and there's a gap over here. And so our next one, if you balance, there's this group of three, and then this side has two groups of three. So we got to fill this position next. So this uh, next person here is going to come over here and fill that. Wait, I'm going to go backwards there. I want to make, sorry, yes, yeah, so we're going to go to the right first and then to the left because... Again, this position is kind of filled, so it always comes back and does that right position. Oops, where were we? I'm going to go back there and get rid of that person. Okay, let's come back to this. There's, they're going to fill that position. Then we will come back over here and fill the right position. There we go. So again, it's just a back and forth flow so that there's even consistency. Now, the person, let's say this is you again. If you came in and filled more, you have two positions on this level. You're going to fill this one, and then you're going to come over here and fill this one. And then you have another one, that other one is going to go below into an even another level. Where if we take a look at this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's still 17 openings for this one spot, but you've already filled this level and you filled this level. So in order for that person to sponsor enough, they have to, I think I just, whatever I just said, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They have to sponsor 17 more to fill this row. Okay, I think there's 32 in this row. There's 64, and you've taken four of them. They'd have to sponsor 60 more people. The next level has 128. They'd have to sponsor 128 people to help you fill up your matrix. So keep in mind that the deeper you are, obviously the harder it's going to be for, for the person who sponsored you if they're way up to provide spillover. Now, this person here might help, but their team hasn't grown yet. So until they start to sponsor, it might stagnate. And so I hope this is giving you a good demonstration to understand how you can actually fill your matrix and how the matrix fills and how you can actually stay ahead of your sponsor. And the key thing, obviously, is the more you sponsor, obviously, the more matching bonuses you're going to get. And that's where it becomes really, really powerful. So if we take a look at this, this person here, if they've never sponsored anyone, let's take a look at that person. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten people in their matrix. That's a check for two dollars and fifty cents that they've earned. If they didn't do anything else, they didn't sponsor anyone, at the end of the second month when that matrix bonus starts to come in, it doesn't happen on the first month, it happens on the second, that's only two dollars and fifty cents. If you take a look at what this person has, this person is physically sponsored one, two, three, four, five, six people. Okay, and then there's like a, sa a seventh one that would be waiting. Let's just keep the math simple and let's just do the, the people that are in place, six people. You have to remember, every time you sponsor someone that becomes an affiliate and a member, you're earning 25 bucks. Six times 25, they've earned $150 Again, six times 25, they've earned $150 versus $2.50. So, you know, you're comparing apples and oranges there to say, okay, well, I got spillover. Well, spillover doesn't do you any good. Then this could become an amazing, amazing program with unlimited growth. With the bonuses that take place, you again have an endless amount of variety and options that take place with the generational matching. So, Hopefully you found some massive benefit in this video and I look forward to seeing your success with the program. If you have any questions, always reach out to me and leave them below and let me know how I can help you out. Thanks. Take care again. This has been Dave Gardner.